All right, welcome back. Thanks for joining us for another session. Today we're going to be kind of blending some movement and some yoga-esque things like down dog, and you might see a little capoeira or animal flow infusion, if you will. But uh, yeah, let's kick back and start warming up. Uh, let's come into our side bent sit. I'm going to sway my knees to my left. This is again too much, too soon. Plant the hand, use it as a post. I'm just going to roll in and out of that hip. Let's say for three. And then we're going to switch. So both legs go long. Switch my butt cheeks. Both legs tuck in. Make in like a box with my shins. A square. I'm on my side. I'm bent. And I'm sitting. And we'll do that. One, two, three and switch and one two three and switch one two three let's pause in the middle so sitting up nice and tall we'll come into our forward fold i'm hinging at the hips Let's leave the right hand there and we'll reach back with the left for a twist. We'll come to the front. Left hand stays, right hand reaches. And switch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. We're going to use our C. We're going to roll down to our backs. So, nice round spine. I'm going to tuck my chin. I'm going to roll down. Lift the arms. Bridge up. And come down. Arms come down. Bridging up. Hips and arms. Exhale. Coming down. Once more. And down. Good. Let's bring our knees into our chest. We'll alternate one leg long, one leg in. We'll switch and just gently let the extended leg fall as you pull in the knee. Give you a little warm up, feeling that stretch. Good. Next time the knee comes in, I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna take it across the body and open up the top arm for a twist. Coming back to center, let's switch for three. One, two, three. Again, that knee is going to come across the body. Top arm opens up, opposite direction. Back to center. And we'll rock front to back, coming up to sit. Inhaling for one, two, Four. This time we'll pause at the down. I'm going to roll to my left side, my top knee. I'm just going to bend, do a little quad stretch. So I'm going to try to point my knee straight in line with my foot. Bottom arm can do whatever you need it to do for support. And ultimately, I'm also working to drive my hip forward. So for fun, we're going to switch to the other side. So however you want to get there, I'm going to kick and twirl. What fun. Top leg bends. Take and hold. And again, trying to aim that knee down. Parallel to the bottom leg. Bottom arm, however you need it to brace. Or you can just chill. And again, hip. Driving forward. Adjust the knee. We're going to do a lot of deep knee bends, I think, today. So, get those knees nice and loose. So let's switch each side. So again, I'm going to switch. I'm winding and chopping, coming into that quad stretch. I'm trying to feel 
parallel with my quads, my legs. And I'm going to switch again. My release, roll across, and bend. You don't have to do all that crazy stuff. You can just roll over and roll over. If you can't reach your foot, you can use a towel, a strap if you're fancy, anything to get a little extra length. That's what she said. Roll to our backs. We're going to rock up for three more. So inhaling up for two, for three. Gonna roll to my side, coming over to my hands and knees. And we'll step the right foot outside the hands. So like a low lizard pose. And I'm just going to shift my hips forward, I'm trying to feel a straight line, say from the top of my head to that back knee. This is too much. Come up to your fingertips, come up to your fists, use blocks, or rest on your knee and work your way down. Going back to my hands and knees, switching sides to the left foot stepping up outside the hands. Again, I'm driving my hips forward, trying to feel that straight line. what that means for you, what feels like a stretch, it's not too much, not too little. Good, coming back to the hands and knees, opposite side once more. Good. Driving that hip forward a little bit, we're going to go top of the foot to the mat. I've been doing that a lot lately, so I'm going to work on tucking my toes just to get a little stretch to the foot. Again, choose your height through your hands. This time, instead of stepping right back, my right leg is going to go long. I'm going to be in a modified side plank, so I sweep, and I'm going to drive up. Again, I'm still pressing through the hips, squeezing my glutes, reaching up through the arm, so I'm not collapsed in that bottom arm. I'm lifting through. We can reach overhead. And now we'll return to our hands and knees. Opposite side. Left foot steps up. Get on that stretch. Remember to breathe here. Good. Same thing. My front leg is going to sweep to the back. Front arm strong. I'm in that modified side plank. Hip drives forward, peeling the arm up. And play with your stack. Are you over the wrist, behind the wrist? Again, not collapsing. Lifting. Everything's kind of lifting off the floor. Glute squeezing. Arm reaches overhead. Good. Coming back to our hands and knees. Going to do a little hip hinge get up. So toes engage. Pressing my hips towards my heels. My knees will lift. And we'll walk back and stand. So we'll do a few of those. Coming down, butt back, hands come down, walk my knees, tap. Walk my hands, knees lift, stand. Other direction. Hinge, as if I'm going to pick up something, deadlift. Lower until I can reach the floor, walk out my hands, knees tap, and walk it back. Coming in deep, hip hinge, waist comes down like a shelf on my thighs, walking it out, tap, walking it back. 
knees bend, fold forward, and back. Last one. Good, instead of coming up, we top to the feet to the mat. Sitting down, peeling up. I'm gonna plant my right arm, reach up and over with the left. Swing through center, opposite side. Swing through. Swing through. Good, coming to center. Gonna press down to lift up. So let's go side angle here. So pressing down, hips lift up. We'll just play with that. If I lean back a little as I press, my quads are gonna do more work as I extend the legs. So press and lift. We can lean back, press and lift. And let's do two more. One, two. From here, I'll step the right foot forward. Now come into that half split rudder stretch. Okay, I'm going to try to be long through the torso, not just fold through, but find what works for you and feel it out. Good, and float up, come back to my kneeling, switch sides, and then shift back. Again, I'm not folding down, I'm trying to put my head to my crotch, try to bring my chest to my knee. Walking forward. And we'll do each side once more. Floating up. Little control as I sweep back. Switching forward. And rocking back. Long torso. Driving up. Switch, well, shift forward, shift back. Good. So from here, for fun, as I float up, I'll windshield wiper my bottom knee, extend the side leg. I'm basically in my gate pose, and I'm gonna point and side bend. Flex to a T, point through the foot, side bend. Good. Pausing at the center, bringing that extended leg in, switching the opposite side extends. Get them going into the heel, foot is flexed, arms to a T, as I point. Open up the side. T. Let's do two more. Good. Bringing that extended leg back in. We're in our deep kneeling position. Tucking my toes, I'm gonna lean back, plant my left hand, sweep the other arm up and over again, driving the hips, coming back through center, swing it up and over. Kind of like a camel pose, not quite fully there. So I'm finding where I need to put my hand. If coming back here helps me lift up, then I'll lift up. If that's not going to happen, plant it to my side and do a little mini hip lift. Switch to the other side, mini hip lift. For fun, start tucking your toes. Reach and really bridge up. Chest to the ceiling. Switch. Chest to the ceiling. Find what works for you. If you're comfortable, you can roll through center and back roll to center 
and back. From here, I'm gonna lean back, knees will float up, and I come into my deep knee bend and drive to stand. So this time, the same thing as the elevator comes down, hips towards the heels, tippy toes, and up. Coming down. And up. Good. Let's come down. We'll land the knees the same way. So I lean back to drive forward. And we'll flatten the feet, give them a break. Option now to sweep up, lift the hips, and roll into your center. And back. Good. Planting the hands in front, tucking the toes from my tabletop, and we'll press back to the downward facing dog. Can I use this to loosen up our calves? Come taking control of our breath. I'm almost trying to spin the mat away so I can engage my lap. And I'm let my head fall long and far from my shoulders. I'm not jammed up here. Plenty of room. I can look around. Come up tippy toes. And come down. I can alternate. Good. Coming up to tippy toes, we'll land the knees. And from here we'll work our sit out or our tripod transition. So what does that mean? I'm going to step my left foot up. Left hand comes up, my bottom leg is going to baseball slide through and go long. As I retract, reverse the slide, knee down, knee down. Let's do the same side three times, and I'll give you the front piece. So for me, my left side, it'll be your right if you're matching me. Right arm, right leg, slide along. I'm not jammed up in my shoulder, I'm pressing away. Then I retract, knee hand. Knee, like a dog at the hydrant, elbow to my pocket, baseball slide, and retract. Opposite side, left, left arm, slide through, proud chest, elbow in my pocket, hand up, retract, and down. I open the pathway, and I slide through. Close the pathway. One more. One, two, three, four. Good. Let's do one each side now. Kind of relatively quick just to get a little flow with it. So I open up my right, slide, and back. Open up my left, slide, and back. Two more. So open up, slide, open up, slide. So all this can be done without sliding. You can hold yourself up if you wish. So let's come into our downward facing dog and add that out of it. So what does that look like? From here, the key is I'm gonna go to my right. My right foot goes onto the ball of the foot and knee bends towards my chest. As the left comes through, look, hands and knees, just what we did and then back straight legs. So right knee softens, left knee softens. I'm pivoting on the ball of my foot, my right foot, because that's the side that's opening up. And I slide through, right foot presses, and I come back. You can see from the side here, you know, downward facing, soften the knees. So basically hands and knees, it's soft, staying tall, Pivot on the ball of the foot, reach. Balls of the feet, downward facing. And back. Opposite side, on the back face, so you can see. I soften the knees, this time it's my left foot. It's gonna stay engaged. Right hand stays engaged. Slide, and back. Downward facing. Soften the knees. Left foot opens the pathway. Right leg slides through. 
and back. One more time. This time let's alternate. We'll go to the left, to the right, and slide. So soften the knees, open the left, right leg slides, downward facing. Soften the knees, right leg opens, slide, downward facing. Hopefully everyone's feeling all right with that. Let's build. So from here, we tuck our toes. We're gonna come up into that deep knee bend and stand. Coming down the same way. As I lean back to touch my knees, I'm gonna go left hand, right arm reach, right arm, left arm reach. And then reach. From here, as I swing forward, I'm going to come to that tabletop. Downward facing. One each direction. Sit out. And then drop the knees. Hinging back. Slow and control. Coming up to stand. Lowering down. Shifting forward. I'm going to go right hand, left left arm right arm right arm left arm reach back through center downward facing one each side and then back to kneeling as i sit back come up to stand let's play here and we'll return to that so as I drop down, I come to my knees. We're going to switch staying back. So what does that mean? We're going to be like break dancer. So as my hand plants and my hips lift, I'm going to float up a little, windmill my arms, and sit back down. Good. So as I plant my hands, lift the hips, I come onto my shins and knees, switch hands, and come down. Other side. If this is too much, then you're like, you're crazy. You could stay down and switch, working on that windmill. Or don't plant your hand as far back. If I plant it closer to my hip, and I bridge up. I'm almost upright when I switch. If you're feeling good and you have a nice stretch, your abs are all warmed up, you can be back and switch. Take a little break and come down. Come to our downward facing dog. We'll sit out each direction. Try a transition. I'm gonna go towards you and back away and back tucking my toes sitting up to stand up good it's so coming down we'll put it all together thus far driving the knees forward and your choice of how far back you want to go but we're going to go each side so i'm going to go left hand first and i'm going to rock through Right hand, switch, rock through, left hand, switch, rock through, hands down, downward facing, one, two, knees down, coming back, tucking the toes, and we're going to come up to stand. So options, if you're like, my quads need a break sooner than later, when you come up, instead of leaning back, once you come out of your downward facing dog, you can walk back, hip hinge get up. And then we can come into this. So we went left hand first, I'm gonna go right hand first. So I open up, windmill, come to center. Left hand, windmill, 
come to center, right hand, windmill, come to center, downward facing, opposite direction first. And here's your choices. You can bend your knees and hip hinge get up. Whew. Shake it out. This could be your break. So you're like, oh, still, I need more breather. Hip hinge come down. And we're kneeling. You can also flatten your feet and go one, two, three, back to front. Tuck the toes, up, sit up, sit up. If you're flexible and you want, walk your hands to your feet, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. Roll them all the way up this time. Sweep the arms up, coming down, come to a deep knee bend. Hinge the knees down. Back to that windmill, we'll say. Up, windmill, through center. Let's go all the way around three times this time. So it's a little more fun. So for you at home, left hand, sweep. Coming through center, left hand, sweep. Coming through center, sweep. Downward facing dog. Sit down, sit down. Come down to the knees, deep knee bend to come up. All right. So, let's add a roll. This will be our peak, our super flow, super flow megalopolis. So I'll show you what we're gonna add. Let's get crazy. So, if you're watching this later, pause, rewind, do whatever you gotta do. I might go through this a little quick, but it should be fun. Take away what you want. But a lot of the key for me is gonna be pivoting on the balls of my feet, kind of letting the knee lead the way with the foot together. From my deep knee bend, kneeling position, my toes are engaged. I'm gonna sweep up and switch. Coming forward, sweep back, and switch. Coming forward, sweep back, and switch. From here, I'm gonna rock into the deep knee bend, still using my hand. Same side as the hand, leg goes long. I'm gonna roll to downward facing dog. So, press, ball of the foot. All the way, downward facing dog. Now I'm gonna keep going that same direction. So opposite foot steps up to bend. I'm in my sit out, opposite side. I'm coming back, step, step. From here, I'm gonna drive forward. So this knee comes down, sweep back to my kneeling. So we ended with the right hand. So we're gonna start with the left hand this time. So I'm gonna Bridge and switch for one. Bridge and switch for two. And I'm gonna bridge and switch for three. I'm gonna go left hand, knees come up, left leg long, rolling over that leg, switching feet, stepping back. Stepping over, switching feet, Driving forward, sweeping to the back. I'm gonna go here, hopefully see more of the action. And let's stand up to give ourselves a little breather and a little extra fun. So I'm gonna go down, one, two, three, and then roll through the downward facing dog. So down, I can go, boom, one, two, three. I'm lifting my knees, leg goes long. Step, step, step back, step back, knee, sweep. 
coming up coming down knees go right hand left hand right hand knees come up right leg long roll through step step coming back step step knee drives sweep and down hinging back and up one more opposite side knees going left right left hips come back knees come up left leg long step over step over step back step over knee sweep so instead of rolling over and stepping over in that downward facing we're going to step over and sit through so like we did earlier the downward facing and i went back and came back we're going to do that right out of the first roll so since we're already down let's start from here we'll do three switches or windmills or whatever works for you i mean it could simply be one two three but for us for me i'm gonna go one two three knees lift left leg long downward facing this time instead of planting the foot i'm gonna go right through and then return and come right back this is where the ball of the foot is important because you can turn on that less friction less grip allows me to adjust a deep knee bend coming down i want to go one two opposite side right hand knees up leg long tippy toes i'm not planting going right through and back driving the knee up press sweep good we've got like three minutes ish let's do a few of those or your version of it they don't have to be all the same all the time but let's just play for a little bit and see what comes out you want to do it one at a time less windmills less whatever i am watching if you're watching this later so let's go all right so i'm going to come back up i'm going to try not to talk through this one do whatever you like to do but deep knee bend coming through my window one two three coming up leg long turning over sitting back driving sweeping i can switch sides come down i can sweep i can All right, one last one. Let's all do the same toned down kind of version. We'll start on our knees. And we'll do side bends. So I'll plant my right hand, inhale, up and over with the left. 
Inhale. Exhale. Coming through. Good. Next time the right hand's down. And come into center. Option two, just tuck the toes, lift the knees. Left leg long. I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna roll over. Step over and sit. Driving over, step, step, sit. Now I'm gonna drive up, leading with that back knee, coming back to my kneeling, and sit. So get the whole pizzazz. We're gonna go over one, over two, three, four. Coming up. Lifting the knees, left leg long, downward facing. Step, step, I can sit, downward facing, step, step. You can sit, when you breathe there, or that bent knee, and drive forward, and come to kneeling. From here, we'll plant the hands into our tabletop. Do the sit outs this way. So left side up, right leg long, and back. Right side up, left leg long, and back. We're gonna pause on this side, sliding through. Sliding back. Opposite side steps up, slide through. Sliding back. I'm going to windshield wiper through, coming down to our butts and we'll forward fold. And move through this as I inhale, I'm going to sit up. Right leg comes inside, exhale, fold. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, butterfly. Inhale, sit up. Right leg long, exhale, fold. Inhale, butterfly. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left leg long. Exhale, fold. Inhale, both legs long. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sitting up. Let's cross the right foot over the left knee. And we'll fold this way. Bring my chest towards that shin. Arms can go long. Try not to round down my proud chest and roll forward. Good, inhale coming up. We'll switch right leg long, left foot crosses over. Inhale tall, exhale fold. And since we're here, that left foot's just gonna step all the way through. Her right arm's gonna wrap. I'm gonna look over the shoulder towards that knee. Good, uncrossing, opposite foot. Steps over the knee. If that's too much, you can step inside. But I'm gonna wrap my chest towards my bent knee. Looking over that shoulder. So away from the extended leg. Good, coming back to front. Gonna tuck my chin around my spine, come into a little egg. I'm gonna rock front to back three times. Big inhale, wide arms. Exhale. Coming down, inhale, exhale, inhale, round, inhale, exhale, 
One more. And whatever seated position you want, inhale, sweeping the arms up. Slow as possible, we're gonna exhale, fingertips towards each other. All right, thanks guys. That is class for today, I hope you enjoyed it. Muchos gracias.